the city of the future will be everywhere. At some point in the next 10 to 20 years, there won't be any emerging markets. They will have emerged across Africa, across Asia, across remote spaces in Latin America. You know, those are the next big cities. Look at Dubai itself. What was it 20 years ago? This land has gone from camels to Ferraris in 42 years. A new population of more than 1 billion people, something like plus 8% every year, who are coming to the cities. As buildings are developed in those markets, they're going to have to be adapted to different climates, to different cultures, different laws, different ways of working that we haven't really fully considered today. Not only uh, uh, housing or commercial or office, but all together. We're seeing a powerful confluence of technology and innovation in terms of how we're operating buildings. We haven't lost sight of the human element as well. The biggest challenge uh, facing the building industry today is smart and green. Sustainability is a, is a big issue, like, like, like in a, every place of the world. It's possible. We know it's possible. The fun part is figuring out how to do it. It starts right with the functionality of the building. Energy savings, uh, CO2 uh, reduction, um, operational efficiency, and uh, comfort level, I think, are key to uh, building technologies. Building possible is making all components within a building work together. We need to work with someone like United Technologies to do that from the elevator's perspective to the HVAC systems and, and how they can be programmed to turn on and off according to the building occupancy schedule. Having expertise and knowledge in, in those multiple disciplines I think gives you guidance on how to better lay out your product roadmap and how to do the integration in between the systems. We can integrate all the products and give a one single solution to our customer for any buildings to have a more energy efficient buildings. It uh, adds to the big picture of things of where you're operating and clearly identifies where you can and cannot improve. We can use energy smart in a smart way. We can use energy efficiently. The idea is to give the tenant the same quality that they're, that they're used to, but finding new techniques and saving energy. Actually, literally makes it fun to run your building. We have products at all different levels, so we're able to work with city planners or developers as they start from scratch. It gives us an advantage working with them, having the knowledge of these technologies and being able to apply them. They're making sure that we're on the cutting edge of knowing what their products are. We know what we're getting and we know that it's top of the line products. Because it's a large organization, they're able to get us information quickly, uh, support us well, and help us look good in front of our clients. The client sees that large mother company with all these organizations within it. I think that builds a characteristic of the, of the company um, that not too many companies can offer. I think uh, we always uh, strive hard to provide solutions uh, to the customers, not for today, but uh, for the future as well. By forming the BIS, the Building Industrial System, we are double the size of any other player in the market uh, in this area. I think UTC is well positioned with their uh, plans and, and uh, growth plans, developments in this regard. UTC is in a unique position. There is no limit to how far we can take this product. We have great tools, we have great people, we have great support, and we want to support the customer and show them how to use our system and be the best that they can be. If you can leverage that, those resources and you can focus them on making a progressively better future through the built environment, you can create great change for what will happen as we grow as a global community.